CIG finally reveals the Mariah Guardian. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Algo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, let's just get straight into it. There was a new, a second episode from for IAE, um, which um, CIG did tease the upcoming um, Mariah Guardian, which is an interesting looking ship. Okay, so um in this episode they did a few teases um from different angles which we're going to go through and we're going to analyze and, and see what we see here what they re managed to reveal to us okay so for this very first one um it looks really cool first and foremost and it seems like it has the two main engines i'm not sure how much how responsible those main engines are in terms of keeping the ship up um because if you talk about the Furies, the Furies, I think it has four of them. And then those four are re fully responsible to keep the ship up and moving in all directions, I think. I'm not sure how much responsibility that the, those two main engines have. But if they just have, it's if it's only those two, then I'll be concerned. But I'm sure there's probably some thrusters in the bottom here, in the bottom of the ship as well, as well as above it to help it strafe up and down and also some side thrusters hopefully um but aside from that it looks like it has two size i think size five guns i think which is fairly powerful two size five guns that's 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 fairly powerful for a heavy fighter thinking about it yeah that's very powerful and the fact that it's just two of them instead of like uh four or five or six different separate guns you're looking at a possibly a big uh, magazine size for the capacitor which is really good for especially for lasers right so that's uh that's pretty nice it's really really nice okay so uh let's look at the second image here uh let's let's switch that right here second image is this one looks really small let me let me make it bigger all right so this is the second image here and uh yeah, it looks like uh, it's showing the uh, where you would sit. Interesting. I, I think I heard this thing has an interior. So it's really I'm really interested to see how you enter the, this ship. But uh, you can see the guns next to it as well. But where you sit, do you is it kind of like the prospector where you can just get up and then you go through the back? I'm really interested. All right, so let's look at the next one. Where is that? Oh man, this is huge. Okay, so let's shrink that down. The other way of showing this isn't working, so I have to just go with this manual way. All right, so now this one gives us a little bit more detail here. So it looks like there could be a door in the back where you can just go into the ship. I mean, it looks big enough where it should have. I think it does have an interior. I think they did. I think it was leaked that they did have an interior. But uh, look at the look at the size of those guns. Those guns are massive. It's gonna be. It seems like it's gonna be a very powerful ship. And it looks like uh, you can see some uh, maybe size three missiles there. That's really cool. Okay, it looks really nice though. Very aesthetically pleasing. All right, let's look at the next one. So now this one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. All right two size two size two or three missiles on each uh wing okay you can see the thrusters on the inside too so yeah there's thrusters everywhere so I'm, i don't think we have to concern about the thrusters all right so you can see uh each winglet has two probably size two or threes attached to it so that's nice that's nice okay all right then the main guns seems like it's just those two guns what I like about this is the fact that the guns are hidden, are protected by these uh, these winglets that it has. So that which is going to be different. Like if you compare it to like another heavy fighter, the Hurricane, the Hurricane, the guns are in the front, right? And um, it's it's uh, if you ram it, you might destroy that gun, right? If you um, shoot the front of the ship, you'll hit you essentially hitting the gun, and you could dis dis completely disable the gun. But with this, it's kind of tucked in into the ship. So 
you literally have to take out the winglets before you can even get to the guns. So it uh, seems like it will remain, uh, it'll keep its guns in most scenarios, which is really nice. All right, so let's uh, let's look at the next one. Yeah, so it looks really nice. It looks really nice. I like the design language of Mirai. It's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. So, so it seems like CIG plans to drop this thing flyable, I think, in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0. All right. So, um, yeah, it looks good. I like it. It looks really, really good. You guys, let me know. Are you going to be picking this thing up? Or are you going to be CCing to it? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on next one.